The MOI, or Memorandum of Incorporation, is a document which sets out the rules of conduct which govern the company. It sets out the rights, duties and responsibilities of the directors and the shareholders and is therefore an effective tool for holding people to account. These rules can be amended or customized to suit the specific needs of the company and the owners. However, they may not be in conflict with the company's act. If they are, the company's act will always take precedence. In this video, I'm going to discuss three different MOI changes. The first is converting the old Articles of Association into the new Memorandum of Incorporation to align with the Companies Act of 2008. The second part is adding the SARS mandated tax exemption clauses to the MOI, but this applies specifically to NPCs only. The third thing is lodging customized MOIs, which you may have completed yourself. Now, the standard MOI is referred to as the short form, as it is the default MOI as drafted by CIPC. All the clauses are set to default and there are no options to change any of the clauses, so it is cost effective and very popular. Now, you could choose to draw up your own MOI or change certain clauses of the 15.1b. If you choose this option, the MOI is now referred to as the long form, which is slightly more costly. To make changes to the company's MOI, a special resolution is required. These amendments can be proposed by either the directors or the shareholders, but it must be adopted at a shareholders meeting. We will provide you with the required wording of the resolution and the notice to CIPC. So the first option, which is converting the old Articles of Association and Memorandum of Agreement into the Memorandum of Incorporation. This amendment applies to private companies who were registered prior to the 1st of May 2011. These articles refer to the old Companies Act where private companies required annual audits, but this is no longer a requirement. The authorised shares were in the articles were also par value shares, usually fixed at one rand each. Now to bring this in line with the new Companies Act, the MOI needs to be adopted. This is a two-step process whereby the shares must first be converted to non-par value shares and then the adoption of the MOI can proceed. Okay, the second thing is NPCs are not automatically exempt from tax, so they need to apply for tax exemption status from SARS. Their requirement is to amend the MOI to include a mandated clause as part of the exemption process. We will be able to provide you with a wording. Once the amended MOI is returned from CIPC, it needs to be sent to the SARS tax exemption unit. Now, the last service we offer is for clients who have drafted their own MOI or adopted the core 15.1b and made changes to certain provisions and now need to lodge the MOI with CIPC. So to get started, just log on, click on the start button and complete the application form. The process usually takes about two weeks and on completion, we will issue new share certificates for the PTY Limiteds. Now I hope this has been helpful. So as always remember, we are here to help.